Hey, I'm Chris with Razorback Off-Road. We're out here in Mountain Home and it wasn't too windy today, so we decided to shoot a little video on our new Turbo S rack. We wanted to come up with a rack based off our SEMA build that would fit any stock Turbo S cage. It actually fits the two and four seat models. We came up with these really easy clamps that reach around the roll bar and tighten down, so there's no drilling required. It's real easy to go on. It takes about 15 minutes and we'll run through that later in the video. But a couple really nice features of this, we got some holes on the rear so you can mount some reverse lights or any kind of cargo lights. Then just like all of our other racks, we've got tons of tie down points all over the bottom, the sides, the front. So if you're putting a cooler up there or any kind of cargo bag, you, you really got plenty of tie down. You don't have to worry about it flying out. Some of the other nice features, we put actually four different whip holes in this. In the front of the tray, there's one on either side in the corner, so you could put whips going straight up. Then in this back angle, we put two more, so you can have your whips at, a, at an angle right here, which looks pretty cool. Another great thing about this rack is it's up high enough where you can reach it, but you also have enough room down here for a cooler, anything you need to reach regularly. All right, we'll head back to the R&D shop and get started on the install. To start, we're gonna unbox it over at the table. All right, I gotta give our Razorback Off-Road Shipping Department a huge shout out, because they do an amazing job packaging this stuff so it makes it safely to you guys. Let's go ahead and open it up. Got our rack unboxed and all of our components laid out here. I've also gone ahead and grabbed a couple of the tools I'm gonna to use to assemble this rack. First thing we're gonna start with is some tape to lay out some marks on the cage and a tape measure. So to make things a little bit simpler when we're installing this rack, I'm going to lay out some tape marks. We're gonna measure 12 inches from the edge of where the tube ends right here and put a little mark. There we go. Okay, now that we've laid out our tape on the back of the machine, I'm going to grab everything needed to install the two legs. I'm going to need the leg assemblies with the adapter brackets, bolts, and two sets of clamps. To install this, we're going to need sockets, ratchet, wrenches, and the impact. We'll keep them over here just so it's closer for use. Next thing we're gonna do is I have these two adapter brackets. These connect the legs of the rack to our clamps. When installing these, you'll see two notches in the side and the top. They should both point in and up on either side. That way you don't get them backwards. The next thing we need to look at are the legs themselves. You'll see they both slant different directions. We want the ovals facing the outside and the slant looking like this. Now that we've got our left leg adapter with the notch in and the notch up and our left leg, we can go ahead and bolt them together. I'm going to use three quarter inch bolts and go up from the bottom with a nylock on the inside. You'll be able to set our adapter right over one side of the leg clamp and grab the other clamp, put it on the back side like that. For this step, we're gonna use one inch bolts because it needs to reach around the cage a little bit with nylocks on the back. We'll get all four of these in, then we'll get the leg on the right side in place. going to snug these down just a little bit so I don't have it falling down the tube, just like that. We'll just get it so it has a little bit of tension on it. But I still wanna be able to move it around. Right there. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and get the other side lined up the same way. Okay, now that we have the legs in place, we're gonna move on to the upper clamps and we're gonna get them set up so we're ready to go to put the tray on. Next thing, we're gonna grab the last two sets of clamps. We're gonna get them in place. Now I'm gonna grab one more clamp, come over here, still using the one inch long bolts. And I'm only gonna put the lower side of this clamp together. I'm gonna put two bolts in it with nuts. And you can just let it slide down until it touches that tube. Now our last part, we can go ahead and take the tray, set it on there and line our bolts up. Since we have our tape lines there, we know our lower brackets are close. We're gonna take two bolts on this side, move over and get our upper brackets lined up. Now, our tray, the tab that comes off the tray, will go through the same bolts as the clamp. And we'll put them through, we'll line them up on the inner section of the clamp. We'll get a closer shot of that in just a minute so you can see. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. And again, we're gonna leave everything loose so when we get it all lined up, there's a little bit of room to move it side to side and we'll make sure it's centered. Now that the front's bolted down, I'm gonna get these legs in. That will go back to the three quarter inch long bolt. We'll go right through the top. Now, on this step, this is why we left the legs loose. You can rotate it a little bit or move the tray up and down the tube to get the bolts to line up. All right, now that we have all the bolts in with nuts on, we're gonna make sure everything is pretty straight. We need to look on the side and make sure that's gonna line up. And then we can go ahead and tighten everything down. I'm going to start with the legs here and then move to the front and then finally down to the bottom clamp. Now we've got everything bolted down tight. Little thing I wanted to mention, these clamps, you'll wanna tighten them down so both of them touch. They are made to have some tension on the tube, so when you tighten them down, it will stop when these two plates touch. Otherwise, we can go ahead and pull our tape off. And this rack is installed. All right, we've got our rack installed. We tried to make it super easy to install, but of course, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to get a hold of us. And I hope to see you out on the trail.